Hey everybody and welcome to a new video on E Stampley Art and in this video we're going to be using September's Colors of the Month which has a very green palette. Um, I used Copic and Tombow markers uh, for this particular piece to get the effects that I wanted. So when I saw the palette I first uh, thought of well what reminds me of green obviously leaves and then when I thought of leaves it kind of took me to um, ivy which made me think of poison ivy from Batman's rogues gallery so um, that's kind of where the inspiration for this piece came from uh, as you can see in my thumbnails I did a couple of little sketches of some leaves ideas of leaves and ivy and um, just a general thumbnail of kind of how I wanted the girl to look, kind of like Koi looking over her shoulder. My initial thing was to do big leaves kind of coming off uh, the thing. It, it, you can kind of notice in my original thumbnail. But then when I started looking at pictures of Poison Ivy, um, they're actually like little small leaves. They're kind of bunched and all together. So when I started doing the actual drawing, I then started kind of using the shapes of the area that I had originally done and doing smaller leaves in that vicinity. And I think it turned out much better that way than doing um, a bunch of big leaves to fill that space. It gives it a little more interest, it gives it a little more uh, dynamics and stuff in the piece to have a bunch of smaller leaves, I think, instead of big gigantic ones. One thing I will say is I'm still struggling in my own head with when I finish a drawing and then I want to ink it, um, you know, how to vary my lines or what should I make all black or should I give it much more shadow? Like, you know, I, I don't want to go full, you know, Frank Miller on it, but you know, that that's something I always struggle with when I get into doing my inking. So then, you know, I tend to rely on like the multi-liners, which are pretty, pretty static, um, but they don't give that variation of line that you can get with a brush pen. So still kind of learning my brush pens and learning the best way to use them to get that variation of line that I really, really want. If you have any tutorials that you've seen online about inking and getting that variation of line that I'm talking about, feel free to share them in the comments below. I would, I'd greatly appreciate it. I was trying to figure out, like I, I knew how I wanted the leaves, so I colored those first. And I really debated back and forth whether I was just gonna color all of her hair in black and have the leaves be the only green that was in the image. But in my head, it just, it seemed like it almost would have been too much black. So I decided to use the medium green that I had instead uh, for her hair and uh, highlighted her skin and the yellow and green tints and everything for like her makeup. And the paper is basically kind of like her skin tone. So in using Tombow markers in the past, um, them being water-based markers, uh, I definitely wanted to use them with some water to kind of give a nice light green wash to the background behind her. Um, so that was definitely what I had thought about doing from the get-go. And I'm really, really happy with um, actually how it turned out. After I finished with everything, I went back and did a little bit of correction around some of the edges of the leaves um, with the um, Uniball Signo uh, white gel pen and also did a full outline around her as well just to kind of make her pop just a little bit more away from the light green background. That's my September Colors of the Month piece, and if you want to know about the Colors of the Month when they come out, uh, feel free to go to MarkerUniverse.com and they usually list out all the different uh, marker brands and the colors that will coordinate for the colors that they are using for that month. Also wanted to give a little bit of a shout out to my own channel. 
Uh, it's been a year since I've been on YouTube. The initial intention for doing videos was to push myself to do art more and it definitely has done that. Um, I may not have been consistent on YouTube as far as putting up videos and uploading videos due to, you know, time constraints and work and different things like that. But it definitely has been uh, a good motivator and uh, for me to uh, kind of get my button gear and doing much more artwork than I used to. And you know, a big thank you to all you who subscribe to my channel, um, who watch these videos. Um, I hope you like them and appreciate them. Um, they definitely motivate me and push me. So um, hopefully they can give you a little bit of inspiration too. If you liked this video, feel free to give it a nice thumbs up down below. Also feel free to hit that notification bell or the subscribe button down below, and then you'll be notified about new videos when they come out on my channel. And as always, you can follow me and more of my artistic journey on Twitter and Instagram at eStampleyArt. I'd like to thank you guys again for watching as always, and I will see you next time. Bye.